Hey all, welcome on Travels and Code channel. Today in this video we will talk about Axios library. It's a library for making HTTP requests on your backend. So what is Axios? Axios is a library you can find on GitHub, open source library, which is a wrapper for XML HTTP request and you can make requests for your backend. So it works in all browsers because of it's made based on XML HTTP request, which is used in all browsers. Also, it supports the Promise API and it's it's working with this Promise API. So, as it's not a part of built-in JavaScript language, it's a library you need to install it. So, you can install it using npm or Bobber or any other way you want and using CDN. So, and uh, here you we have a couple of samples how can we use it. So let's start it. To show this tutorial, I will use CodePen and uh, as we haven't this library right now, so we need install it. So install it here, we will use this one approach. And uh, so right now we have this library. Okay, let's try. Let's try to do it and uh, Oh, again, we will use the uh, Star Wars API to get data and let's try, let's take a look how it works. To make a get request, we will call get function from access and uh, the first parameter, it will be URL. So let's const URL, we will clarify this URL and uh, we need to make this request to this URL and uh, it returns promise, so then and here we will get a response. So, and console log response. So, let's take a look. So, what we have, we have response and uh, see we have status is 200, it's okay. We got this data. We have headers, it's application JSON. We have configuration. Again, we see this URL, we see method, which we used to make a call. We have a lot of additional information. This is the same XML as HTTP request object with uh, status, status text, response. It's a string, so this request is completely here. And uh, the most important what we have, we have data. It's already parsed JSON and um, we can use this data. So one of the main difference between access and the fetch that is, we do not need to middle step of passing the results of the HTTP request to the JSON method or string method. So Access just returns the data object you would expect. So you just did request and you have this response. So you can get this data. Another important part, how we can handle errors. So in fetch method from JavaScript built-in function, all requests successful or failed, they will return in then, will be resolved and in then we will have a response and we will get data. We will get status, was it successful or not. So for access we can try to use it in another way. So let's try to use for example some URL we haven't and we try to get request and so what we have, we have 404 and it's error, uncut promise. So to get this error we can use catch. So let's take a look and uh, here, as you can see, we have this error message we added and error that status was 404. Let's take a look on network. And in network we have, we have HTML document and uh, status 404. So, with access, we can handle errors with the in catch section. So previously we used the uh, then, but with the uh, access, it works great with the catch method. So all errors, uh, is it 404 or 500? So technically you did a correct match, correct request, but uh, there was some error and unexpected result. You got these results in the catch section. It's another main difference comparing Axios with the fetch function.
addition one more interesting feature let's uh, discuss here there is timeout so in access we can clarify request in another way we will pass object and in search we can put for example method it's to get to make post request so it will make post so we will pass url it's our url for example data we can clarify data it will be i guess it's enough and uh, we will get the same response it's uh, for all three because it was failed when we try to make post request let's take a look on network is it post request what's important here with access that we can clarify timeout section so timeout it's a time in milliseconds uh, how long are you going to wait before your request will fail so in case something will happen and uh, your request won't be executed in three seconds you will get catch you will get error and go to catch section. So it's one way how you can use Axios. It's one of the great benefits. Okay, and to get to make a post request, we need to use just access without this get part function. Just access method URL. Let's clarify it correct one. And let's try to do it. So what we will have? We have post request and we have 405 error. What we try to send, we try to send name. So it works expected. We have method post not allowed. So because we can't send the post methods to this URL, but we can use it with access and the uh, and, uh, timeout. For example, we can clarify time, how long we are going to wait be before request will be failed. So for example, if your server is very slow and responding and response take a lot of time you can clarify a time and uh, in our case it's four thousand milliseconds or four seconds and after the four seconds this request will be failed and we will get error in catch section also what i wanted to mention here it's interceptors interceptor is a function which could be executed somewhere in the middle of your request so for example you need to send some additional data it's uh, it might be authorization headers authorization tokens and you don't want to clarify this data in headers all time so you don't want to clarify it on all requests you can implement the middleware so middleware is in our case interceptor so how to do it And uh, let's try to copy that and uh, put it here. Okay, we had error because there was no comma and in console. So again, we have this. Let's change it to get. But what's important? We have request was sent, so we have res we have executed function interceptor for request. And then we have our request, we made the request. So let's try to use implement the same for response. So here we see that request was sent and request was received and data. So we can add the interceptor for request and for response and do some general operation for all requests and all responses without any problems. And the last part, what I want to mention here, it's uh, how to do a few requests in one time, so simultaneously. So, for example, we need to make calls to get two users. It will be user URL1 for first user and for second URL2. Let's remove it. So, with access, we can use all method, the same path array. And here, axios get URL. Uh, 
and after that we will have response its promise so then and what we need we need uh, here let's take a look what we, what we will get what we got we got array of two objects so it's pretty expected result so we have uh, our data what can we do with access to simplify this work? With access, we have function like axial spread. And here we can console log. Let's take a look on the result. Yes, we need to, it's a function, so don't forget to wrap it as a function. So we got this data, we got user 1 and we got user 2 with own set data without any parsing or some additional steps. So it's a way how you can do simultaneous request using Axios. And uh, that's it, it's everything what I wanted to show you how to use Axios. So subscribe to this channel and uh, soon there will be more interesting videos about JavaScript and uh, programming at all. Thank you for watching.